Konnichiwa, Jim and Jacqueline. Yeah, so great to see you guys, too. The trip here was a long one. It was 30-plus uh, hours, two different planes, hours of coronavirus testing, too. And you know what? That's a theme here. We have to test an awful lot, and it started long before we even took off. Test number one of several. That's me at my kitchen table taking one. Number two. Of two coronavirus tests. Our crew had to test negative and fill out tons of paperwork. We've got uh, tickets. We've got copies of passports, copies of driver's licenses, copies of negative tests, COVID tests that we had to take. If I don't have this, we don't go to Tokyo. So fingers crossed everything goes well. Thankfully, it did. Our first flight, three hours to Dallas. Dallas-Fort Worth Airport is huge. Oh, and Dallas sucks. That escalated quickly. Doors are closing. Next, we took a train. Watch the tram car, please. Found our first sign of the Olympics and passed another checkpoint, boarding our flight to Tokyo. Do you uh, sleep easy on planes? Yes. Oh, good, I don't. <laughs> Not at all, it's gonna be fun. The flight, 13 and a half hours. I right, got a pillow. Got a blanket, definitely gonna need these. Spoiler alert, I barely slept. But the flight was smooth and the views were amazing. But this is what greeted us at the airport in Tokyo. Japanese medical officials wearing full body protection suits and holding clipboards. Got my passport. They scanned our paperwork again. They had us walk and then wait. All right, time for test number three. Even more forms. And then walk, and then wait. We just took our third coronavirus test. This time we had to spit into a little vial, hand it over to them. It'll get tested and we'll be approved into the country, hopefully. Finally, we were approved for entry into Japan. The rest of the airport was empty, likely due to the state of emergency in the country, which was abnormally quiet. Our first look through a car window on the way to our hotel and sleep. Yeah, needless to say, we slept like babies that night. You might be asking yourself, hey, why all the fuss? Well, Japan isn't allowing travel into the country. There's a state of emergency. Less than a third of the population here is vaccinated, hence uh, the requirement of having those daily coronavirus tests. Jim Jacklin. Oh, my gosh. And you're taking more precautions, too, right, Keith? Yeah, no question about it. Yet we're under a 14-day soft quarantine, they're calling it, which means we're restricted to only going around the Olympic-related venues. Uh, we can't leave our hotel for more than 15 minutes at a time. But rest assured, we're coming up with very creative ways to tell fun stories and bring you behind the scenes here at the Tokyo Games. For now, we're reporting live in Japan, Keith Jones, NBC10 News. Lunchtime there, Keith, so go grab lunch and be back to your hotel within 15 <laughs> minutes. So good to see you. Look forward to your reports all through the games.